frustrating. That's how police describe the search for missing 17-year-old Felicia Barnes. Another promising lead turns out to be nothing. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Gigi Barnett explains police, though, are not giving up. Gigi. No, police say that they are using all of their resources to find Felicia. It is a case that every minute counts. Every lead does, too. It has been an around the clock search for 17 year old Felicia Barnes. The teen went missing from her sister's apartment near Reisterstown Road Shopping Center late last month. Since then, Baltimore City detectives have searched by air with flyers and even called in national media help. Tips keep pouring in. We're going to follow up on every lead. Then late last night, a possible break. One of three dozen tips led police to this house in southwest Baltimore near the county line. There, officers drained an abandoned sewer well looking for the teen. Nothing turned up. Public safety expert Rob Weinhold says until Felicia is found, a roller coaster of emotions will continue for her family and detectives. The issue of resiliency is very important in this investigation and the reason it's important is because detectives are humans, just like relatives, just like uh, acquaintances of the young woman, and so they have to pace themselves. Detectives have received hundreds of leads in the case. Weinhold says the more the better, but he says too many poor tips will stall the search. The more quickly that credible leads can be uh, determined and ultimately followed up, uh, the greater likelihood of having a favorable outcome. And police are leaving nothing uh, uncovered or unturned. They even looked into Felicia's past. She was a, a straight A student and even graduated early. They say they could not find anything that would indicate any questionable activity or criminal activity. Mary, back to you. Okay, Gigi, thank you. And we promise to keep following this case and we'll let you know as soon as Felicia is found.